What's up, fuckers? It's the Friday Bullshit Video. Um, it is the 12th of April 2013, and I was originally planning... I was originally planning on having a craft beer. I was going to kill a bomber. You know, I was going to stop and get me a nice IPA, something in the 8 to 10 percent ABV range. And then I decided not to because, God help me. I thought this. Now, I know. I know. It's, it's crap. But it's pineapple flavor. It's 12% alcohol by volume. Um, and it's pineapple flavor. So, I'm doing this instead. Um, God help me. Um, you're joining me. And it's Friday. And I, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually regretting this. <laughs> I should have bought that fucking IPA. But it's Friday. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna talk about, but it's Friday. So, end up with the bullshit. Consider this an unofficial foul oh, beer review. Smells like uh, coconut. Coconut? Pineapple. Smells like pineapple. Um, Drink 4 Brewing Company, La Crosse, Wisconsin, Memphis, Tennessee, and under special agreement, Latrobe, Pennsylvania. They're making this crack in the old plant that used to make rolling rocks. They're making this shit at their fucking central plants in La Crosse, Wisconsin. And now they're in Tennessee. God help the world. Cheers, bastards. Fucking sour. Oh, pineapple is not supposed to be fucking sour. Oh god. Ugh. Yeah, no, it's 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 fizzy. It's overly carbonated. It's sour, and it's got that alcohol burn. Yeah, regrets is settling in for the night. Now, see, here's what happens. I get a lot of people that leave comments on my videos, videos for beers like Bush, or, you know, maybe some Four Loco or some malt liquor or something, and the comments say something along the lines of, you know, stop being a pussy and drink it. You know, I drink this shit every night, I don't complain. You know, you're trying to get fucked up, it's not supposed to taste good. Comments like that. You know, don't, don't be so exaggerated, it's not that bad. Shit like that. And in all fairness, no, yeah, if, I, if I'm fucking broke and I do just want a quick and dirty buzz, um, then you just kind of, you know, grin and bear it and fucking drink it. It's like taking medicine, you know? Taste don't matter, just drink the fucking thing. But I'm trying to let you guys know where this shit ranks on flavor. And uh, this is horrific, nasty, scary, fucked up flavor. Artificial is a word that comes to mind. Let's see, hold on. Before I, before I go back to this crap, Premium malt beverage, we can argue about the premium part, uh, with natural and artificial flavors. Natural, really, prove it. Um, and contains FDNC yellow number five. Yellow number five, shown to uh, cause neurological issues. I've, I have this morbid curiosity for these four local things. Even though I know better, and I can afford better, I have this morbid curiosity for this crap. Don't ask me why. And I can tell you straight up, this is one of the worst ones. Uh, yeah, no, this, this, is, this is worse than the watermelon. Or on par with the watermelon for one of the more foul editions of this crap. The peach wasn't that great either. <clears throat> ah. 
piano that was graceful. Almost choked on some spit there. But no, this is that. Um, you know, oddly enough, I haven't been seeing any more of those uh, juice drinks or the Col 45 Blast. I haven't been seeing that shit around lately. It's all this stuff. Don't know why they keep releasing new flavors. People buy it. I buy it. Um, but God, they're fucking foul, dude. Fuck it, it's Friday, right? It's 12%, right? You yeah. know. To everybody joining me on a Friday. Cheers, fuckers. Oh, God. Thank you. I'm having trouble with it. Right now, a warm bush would taste like heaven in comparison. Well, what can you do? It's on the market, people drink it. And once again, I'm not even going to say it again, but... And of course, if you want to protect your brain waves and your neurological faculties, um, then perhaps you should stay away. Here's something to talk about since it's Friday. Let's talk about this. Has anybody seen the show Hannibal that NBC got going on now? It's like just started, just started airing like within the last week or so. A, a fucking TV show starring Hannibal Lecter. They're bringing back Hannibal on TV. And not even on a good fucking channel, but on fucking NBC. So I watched the first episode. Y'all see Dexter, right? You know, you got the serial killer working for the cops, even though he's really a serial killer. Well, that whole kind of thing, that's what they're doing. So they're cheapening Hannibal Lecter by making it a wannabe Dexter. And the guy they got playing Hannibal Lecter. I mean, he, he's, he's doing a good job. I kind of like his performance, but I like his performance, not the fact that he's doing kind of lecture. He's wrong for that motherfucker. Basically shitting on Anthony Hopkins. Sir, Anthony Hopkins. I mean, I know they beat the movies to death, and the last one was a prequel. But Hannibal Lecter is and always will be Anthony Hopkins, Clarice, Papa Bean. That shit. You know? Not some fucking German fucking guy on a fucking TV show on a fucking network. Disrespect. I, I, I hate sequels, remakes, and cheap imitations. I forgive reboots, but that's different. Okay, you could call this a reboot, but still, no, no. I know some, uh, some, some movies, some stories are about the story. So you can adjust the characters and the, the backgrounds of the characters a little because it's still the same story. Some things are about the character. Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter, it's the character. The character is defined. Do not try to redo it. You know what I mean? Because the, the, the actor's portrayal makes the character. Y'all with me on that one? It's like Dirty Harry. It's like trying to fucking redo Dirty Harry without Clint Eastwood. You can't. Clint Eastwood is Dirty Harry. 
Anthony Hopkins is Hannibal. Snake Plissken is fucking um, Kurt Russell. I hate the fact they tried to remake that shit. You can't do that without Kurt Russell, in my opinion. Shouts out to Stacey Keach and Lee Van Cleef. Especially Lee Van Cleef. Going back to Plenty Sweet. See, see how you can make all that circle right back around? <laughs> For the record, because not only do I dump on the big boys when it comes to brewing beer because they make shitty products, but I also dump on the big boys of television and movies because they make shitty products. Uh, NBC, yes, I saw Hannibal and NBC show. Um, I saw it on Hulu because I have a Roku and I no longer have any kind of cable uh, satellite service. My direct TV account is on pause for the next six months and I'll probably cancel it at some point because I'm off contract now. I have a Roku with Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Hulu Plus, and I have the digital converter box and I can catch my local PBS station. I don't really need anything else. And if I want to see something else, like the latest season of Breaking Bad, which I just downloaded for Wifey, um, I have a computer with internet. I can get that, especially since my TV has an SD card slot. So, um, to, to all my friends out there, uh, surfing and swimming and sailing the electronic high seas, flying flags and wearing bandanas with pirates on your shoulder. I salute you, gentlemen. Happy Friday. We're riding out with music. Happy weekend.